the refusal to investigate. The cases of Sirasa TV and the assassination of Lusantha Wickramatunga, a report from the Asian Human Rights Commission. Investigations into crimes are a primary obligation of any state. The state must create laws relating to criminal investigations and also create the laws relating to the mechanisms by which crimes are investigated. In Sri Lanka, such laws were developed during British colonial times and they were gradually improved upon over the years. The Criminal Procedure Code of Sri Lanka lays down the law and the mechanisms for criminal investigations. That such investigations must be prompt and be conducted by competent persons who adhere to the law relating to these matters are elementary principles of criminal justice. Under Sri Lanka's Criminal Procedure Code, the magistrates exercise supervisory functions over the investigations and should be provided with reports promptly. Regarding the cases of the attack on Sarasa TV and the assassination of the well-known journalist and editor of the Sunday leader, Lissanta Wikramatonga, the Criminal Procedure Code provisions have not been followed and there is public accusation that credible inquiries are not being conducted. Criminal investigations are the functions of the police and the higher ranking police officers have the duty to supervise and monitor criminal inquiries. These supervisory mechanisms have been laid down in the departmental orders of the police service. No politician or anyone holding executive office has any right to interfere with investigations into crimes. It is a fundamental breach of the law and regulations for anyone other than the legally empowered police officers and their superiors to interfere with investigations. Such interference amounts to interference with the administration of justice, which is in itself a criminal offence. However, in the case of the attack on Sarasa TV, the Secretary of the Ministry of Defence has been talking over the television about who the actual culprits of the attack on the station are. Under Sri Lankan law, the Secretary of the Ministry of Defence is not an officer authorised to conduct criminal investigations. When those in powerful political positions talk publicly about an ongoing investigation into a crime, they can damage that investigation seriously. It is natural for officers who depend for their employment on higher authorities to fear that an independent investigation may damage the political agenda of the government. In such an atmosphere, it is difficult for officials to conduct their inquiries independently. A marked feature of a police state is the control of the policing system and the criminal investigations by the hierarchy in the regime. Under these circumstances, the law is ignored and the criminal investigations themselves are relativized. This amounts to the making of a mockery of the criminal investigation system. The BBC Sinhala Service reported that the magistrate dealing with the Saras TV criminal inquiry has stated that it appears the police investigations are focused on irrelevant issues and also questions as to why the investigation into this serious crime has not been handed over to the Criminal Investigation Division. While the attack happened on the 6th of January, it does not appear that the investigation into this crime has led to any relevant information being revealed. What is happening in relation to the investigation into the killing of Lasanta Wickramatunga is even worse. Many of the government spokesmen have publicized their speculations as to who might have, have killed him. They ignore his own statement that, when I am killed, it will be the government that kills me. In the face of such a serious accusation by the person who was the victim of this crime, it would have required the police to investigate the crime with the utmost care and to reveal the criminals. The failure to do so would present the police investigation system in Sri Lanka in a terrible light. In earlier instances, for example, in the case of the assassination of the former Prime Minister, 
SWRD Bandaranaika and the attempted coup of 1962 by some senior officers of the armed forces, the police in Sri Lanka investigated the crimes thoroughly and competently and brought the culprits to book. The failures that are taking place at present should be of concern to the judiciary as well as anyone concerned with the rule of law in Sri Lanka. In India, the courts have intervened strongly to ensure proper inquiries where doubts exist as to the police being brought under political control.